Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the AGV K6S. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and give you the download on the brand new AGV K6S, do us both a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews coming your way. Speed Addicts is always getting first look, just like we have here on this K6S. So subscribe, that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at Speed Addicts, we really would appreciate it, and you can do so by shopping with us. We're gonna make it real easy. There's a link to this K6S in the description below and in case you're not already over at Speed Addicts. It'll take you there. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or accessories you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. The Italians have revised the very popular K6 helmet, and thus we have the k 6s now the k the original k6 is sitting right over here very slight adjustments essentially what we can gather is that this was really focused on safety and passing the new ece 2206 standard so that is the primary update if you're familiar with the k6 you have one you love it you want to replace it this is gonna be a very easy decision for you because none of the good stuff is changing. They just made it safer. Okay, the price tag, 549 to 639. This is putting it square up against something like the Shoei RF 1400. If you want something different, you want something lighter, you want something that's tricolor, you're riding that Ducati, consider the K6S. It is an awesome, awesome helmet, and especially because it is just so light. So, carbon aramid fiber, so it's a composite shell with carbon and other proprietary aramid fibers that they blended into the shell. The weight, the smaller sizes come in just under three pounds on our scale. So small and medium are gonna weigh about two pounds, 13 ounces or 1290 grams. If you see different weight figures, it's probably uh, helmets that are only sold in Europe. The EC only helmets might be just a touch lighter. The standards for DOT homologation include a double impact test, and thus the shells are a bit reinforced in some areas. That's the reason for the discrepancy there. So in the United States, you're going to see that it is dual homologated. Of course, you're going to get that DOT homologation as well as the ECE 2206, which is all new for 2023. Now, 2206 is better than the old 2205 because they now have four drop tests. They, they stuck with that standard linear impact. They added a high velocity, a low velocity, and a angular impact to measure rotational energy management, making the helmet safer. Four shell sizes, which is awesome. So a lot of helmets, less expensive helmets, less sophisticated helmets will use two shell sizes. That means you're wearing too much helmet a lot of times four shell sizes ensures you're going to get that close fit. You're going to get a nice light helmet in the K6. It's the number one reason people go to this. Not only is the peripheral and the eye port just really big, it's a great place to be, but it is really the weight that drives this purchase. Extra small through two extra large. Those bigger heads are kind of out of the equation here. We're finding it to run true. And because of the, um, the four shell sizes, you can really dial in pretty much anybody's head into the K6. Go buy the AZ AGV sizing chart at speedaddicts.com and you should knock it out of the park. But in case you miss, remember, Speedaddicts is going to hook you up with no cost returns. That's right. We don't nickel and dime you on return shipping like those other guys. We're going to treat you like family. You're going to get a free return label in a few clicks at speedaddicts.com. If it doesn't work out for fitment reasons or you just decide it's not for you to qualify, all you have to do is live in lower 48 states and make sure the helmet's brand new in original condition with the tags and bags, and we will make sure to make your shopping experience super easy. Okay, let's take a look off the top. We're just gonna slide the old K6. Don't mind the fact that we've totally abused and gutted this one, but just from the exterior point of view, you can see all the styling cues are very, very similar. The venting location, the shield is the same. If you have an older K6, you've got smoke already in visors, that you wanna use on your freshie, you will be able to do so. They're gonna transfer right over. So out of the gate from the front, these are virtually identical. When you flip them around, you're gonna notice things start to get a little bit different back here. So on the newer K6X, you are gonna notice that they've added an air diffuser. One of the things they improved is the drag, and the stability of the helmet. K6 was already good in that department. It is inspired by the Pista series. You notice these little accents up on the top 
of the design. Now, I kind of have um, of two minds with this. When you add air diffusers, it is another thing to whack on the wall when you're walking through a door. Most street riders might not notice the drag gains. These are incremental improvements. And again, you just have another piece to break on the helmet, but it does look pretty sweet. You just got to mind that you have this bit of plastic on the back. So as you can see, identical there. On the inside, the liner cheek pad setup is all very similar, if not identical. The cheek pads are missing on the old one, but on the new one, you can see the comfort liners are identical there. So again, if you like the original K6, which was an awesome helmet, then you're dialed in. But let's, in case you're not familiar with the K6, we're gonna give you the full rundown on the helmet on this K6S right here in that uh, light gray, Nardo gray, battleship gray, the new hot color, right? Uh, they've, they've come out with it here. So we're talking about intakes first. You get these three, this array of three intakes in the top. These brow vents are going to slide backwards to actuate. And then you've got that one, the unibrow right in the middle. Down below, the actuator here is a little sneaky. So it's way down low. It's the tiny little switch. It is bulky though, even though it's small, it's mighty. And it doesn't feel cheap or loose. It's not gonna rattle. And that will open up your chin bar ventilation system, which is gonna kick some air on the shield as well as down into your mouth or uh, face area, keeping that cockpit nice and cool. Now the K6 has extensive channeling throughout the EPS liner, which I'll show you in a minute. So it really works well circulating air and extracting the hot air out the back. Underneath this diffuser, you do have those exhaust ports back to the face shield. You're getting a very stout four millimeter anti-scratch class one uh, optics visor here. And I like the uh, mechanism on this. So the lock is a very simple lock. You're just gonna smush it and lift up. You notice it's a dagger style lock here. So this is actually two pieces, which, you know, on other helmets I've seen gone wrong on the K6, it really wasn't a problem. If you, if you snap this off somehow, it is attached with a screw so you can replace it, but it makes it really straightforward. You're just gonna push it down and it will lock into place. And then you're gonna depress that button and it's gonna pop back up. You have five positions on the face shield on this K6. So you have kind of that demiss setting. We're gonna go up to a few detents. They are big and hard to miss. And then all the way open. This pivot kit, very easy to work. It's spring loaded. The seal is very good, okay? It has a nice weather stripping here. But when you wanna take off the shield, you're gonna do a shield change. You're gonna put on your pin lock. You're just gonna grab this little, this little metal tab here. You're gonna pull it down. And then this face shield, let's see if I can do it from uh, the wrong side of the helmet will come right off. When you go to replace it, you need to pull that spring-loaded clip down again, put it back in place, and here you are, okay? So no fuss, it's a minimal footprint on the side of the helmet, it reduces weight. You notice a lot of the pivot kits are huge, they're enormous, they have ratchets and gears and all this complicated crap going on, not with the K6. Not only is it just simple and nice design to work with, but it actually looks pretty. It's unique compared to most other helmets on the market when it comes to that. They're gonna include the pin lock insert, which they should at over $500. So this is gonna reduce or mitigate fog and install it on the inside. You notice it is pin lock prepped. That's what those nipples are about there. The K6 is pretty friendly with most glasses. Exceptions do apply here. Depends on the shape of your face, the shape of your glasses, but it is meant mostly friendly to eyeglasses. And this eye pore is really, really big, especially in person. So. Great view, it's great for naked bikes, sport touring, uh, occasional track day, especially you guys doing occasional track days. There's no interior drop down visor or any other kind of touring features that'd be a problem, but it is at home in a tuck. It's at home in a more upright position. You're gonna be dialed in. You do have a little bit of nose guard here. So that is something to look out for. And it's time to look at the interior. Let's flip this over. Okay, they have their suite of uh, antimicrobial wicking moisture liner. Nice, robust neck roll, okay? You notice this extra layer here. That is gonna make a great seal. Most helmets have a bigger opening in the neck roll area and they don't seal quite as well, making this for a light helmet relatively quiet. Emergency quick release uh, strips right here in case EMS has to remove you from the helmet and some faux leather perforation here. 
and uh, double D ring closure. Let's open this up. Now, when it comes to the ECE standard, they always require the, that homologation. They always require it to be labeled on the chin strap. It's hard to see here. There it is. It's either going to be a label like this, a fabric one, or a plastic label on the chin strap. Um, they also have the sticker on the back, but some other helmets don't have that necessarily. If you're always, if you're wondering about ECE ratings, always go to the chin strap. Okay, let's go ahead and pull this cheek pad system out of the way. This thing is ready for comms. One of the other slight adjustments that I forgot to show you, I'll go back to, is the bottom edge of the helmet on the old K6. There's kind of a big ridge on the shell design that did run into some comm systems, the bulkier ones, and they've gone, they've gone away from that. So let's show you that real quick before we go forward. So if you're gonna install comm systems, the new K6S is a little bit more friendly. It still has a little bit of a lip here, but it's not nearly as pronounced. This one has a steeper edge on it and was a problem with some comms. So they have improved that comm system compatibility with this smoother surface right here. All right, there is the speaker pocket. So you're good to go for your comm system install. You'll notice the neck roll and the cheek pads are all one beautiful piece here that can be replaced down the road. If you tear up your neck roll, just get a full new set. You can remove and wash this. I recommend doing a sink and air drying it. There we go. Okay, let's pull out the comfort liner here. This EPS has five different densities. That's one of the things they're tuning up to perform better in the impact test and pass that ECE 2206 standard. Let's get the comfort liner out of the way. Like I said, it is the same comfort liner before with the old K6. Got a nice kind of Alcantara um, performance suede feel to it. A little bit of mesh. You do have two snaps in the forehead and uh, two in the back. There's the channel and porting as promised to uh, promote that airflow inside of this guy. And uh, AGV is gonna back it up with a one year warranty, which is a little weak, come on guys. I'd like to see at least two or three years on helmets, especially when you're talking about this price point. So if AGV is listening, throw down with a little bit better warranty, we'd like that. That does it for the K6S, awesome lightweight sport helmet that is up to the latest safety standards, great visibility, Great fit and feel, variety of different colorways. AGV never disappoints with the graphics. If you still got questions, head over to Rider Support at speedaddicts.com. You can always talk to our Rider Support team, a real human over the phone, emails, or live chats. If you got an old K6, you're thinking about upgrading, you got questions, drop them in the comment section below or give us your experience with the old K6 and let us know how you like it. Appreciate you all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.